Hi, I'm Reen Wilcoxon. I'm an independent educator, author, and I create in the hoop machine embroidery designs. I created this little bear lovey because we have a brand new grandson in the family, and it's something that babies can hold on to and love and grab on, and they just love it. I've used a furry fleece on this one. It's very soft, and babies love the texture. To start the bear, we first need to make the arms and the legs. So I've already hooped a piece of the furry fleece, making sure that the nap is going downwards. So make sure the nap goes downwards. I'm not using any stabilizer on this because the stitch count is so low and I don't want stabilizer to be inside of the little pieces. After you've hooped the first piece, take your second piece. Again, be aware of the direction of the nap and lay it centered on top. I do like to take a couple of pins and pin this down and I pin it at the very top of the hoop and at the very bottom of the hoop. This is because this uh, furry fleece is a little bit slippery. So then you would just take this to the machine and stitch the arms and legs. After they stitch, they'll look exactly like this. You have four there are two legs and two arms. They're both the exact same size, so I call them arms and legs, but um, they're both the same size. Once they come out of the hoop, you trim around them a quarter inch all the way around, just like I've done this one. And then you just turn it to the right side. So I'm just gonna reach in, turn it to the right side, and take a little wooden stick and make sure that the corners round it out nicely. Now I have all four of my little pieces that I need. When you're working with this furry fleece, you need to make sure that you're kind of on a hard surface, something that's gonna catch all the little bits of fuzz that are gonna come off of the fleece. Now that we have our legs done and our arms, we're going to start the actual bear. So again, this time I have hoop stabilizer, and I'm gonna take a piece of batting and center it in the hoop. I'm gonna take my big piece of furry fleece. Again, I'm gonna be mindful of the way that the nap runs and I want it to run downwards towards the bottom of the hoop, so I'm gonna turn it this way. I wanna smooth it all down. Since we're gonna be embroidering a face on our little lovey bear, we need to use a topper. And this is a plastic topper that's made for machine embroidery. And I know that the face is gonna be stitching here in the upper half of the bib. So I'm gonna place it down, and I am gonna pin this down. Remember the furry fleece is slippery, and that this piece of topper that we have, it's a little slippery too, and we wanna make sure that it stays in place. So I'm just taking a few pins, and I'm gonna pin all around it to keep everything secured. And once I get it pinned, we're gonna to head to the machine to start the bear. So I've got my bear design loaded up. I'm gonna get the hoop on the machine and we're gonna to begin to stitch the face. The first thing that's gonna stitch are the little inside of the ears. So I'm using a pink thread. This topper is helping to keep the stitches on top of the nap of the furry fleece. It's preventing them from sinking down so that the stitches are gonna be more pronounced and look nicer. So with an in-the-hoop design, everything is done completely in the hoop. All of the uh, steps that you do will complete the, the project for you. It's all in the embroidery pattern. And once you load it onto the machine, you just follow the instructions for that particular design, and you're gonna end up with something that is a 3D object in the hoop that you've made completely in the hoop. Once the ears are done, we're gonna move on to doing the facial features of the little bear. And now I'm ready to change the thread. And we're ready to start the face. First it's gonna stitch the mouth and the nose, and then it's gonna move on to the eyes. Okay. 
So we'll take it a few minutes to stitch the face out. When the face is completed, if you wanted to add a name or maybe the birth um, announcement to the front of the bear, that is a cute idea. If you do add something to the bear, like I, in my sample, I showed the name that I added onto it, you would want to use this topper. You would just take a piece and put it down here in, where the body of the bear is going to stitch and pin it down just like I did for the top half. Now I'm ready to stitch the white part of the eyes, so I'm just gonna change my thread real quick. And now the face is finished. I am going to remove the topper. And it will just tear away nicely. And it kept those stitches from sinking down into the nap. I can remove the rest of it when the bear is completely finished. But the next step is gonna stitch four little placement marks so that we know where to put the arms and the legs that we stitched first. A lot of in the hoop designs do have placement marks so that you know where to place uh, fabrics or trim or other items. Placement lines for the arms and the legs are now done. And I am gonna to have to take the hoop off the machine so I can get these placed. I'll just come back to the table real quick and grab my arms and legs. When you place them, you're gonna place them with the placement marks and you're gonna make sure that the finished end, the rounded end, is pointing towards the inside of the bear. I'm just gonna use some tape, tape these down in place putting the other arm into its placement marks. The feet, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the rounded end points towards the inside of the hoop. You wanna tape them down so they, do, they don't shift on you. Okay, now that they are in place, I'm gonna take my last piece of furry fleece, making sure the nap is going in the same direction as this uh, first piece. Place this over the top, make sure that you press it down and smooth it out. And then I'm just gonna take my pins again and pin in all four corners. This is gonna prevent this fabric from slipping. It is pretty slippery, but babies really love it. After I get this pinned, we're gonna go back over to the machine and finish the bear. And we're ready to go back. And this will be the last step of the bear. It is going to stitch around 
and um, leave an opening. We're gonna have bulk here where our arms and legs are, so I'm just gonna use this um, wooden stick to kind of hold it down a little bit so that the machine can easily glide over the areas where I've added the arms and the legs. If your machine has a problem going over these areas where there is more thickness, you can always go into the settings and raise your embroidery foot up. I am gonna hold it down again when we get to this other arm, just to make sure that the foot can glide over it easily. We're nearing the legs, so again, I'm gonna hold it down. and the design is gonna leave an opening here on the side. And our little bear is done stitching. We'll head back over to the table to finish him up. So now it comes out of the hoop and we are gonna take our scissors and we are going to trim around the bear. I have one that I have already trimmed around. You can see I left it longer at the opening because we need something to turn in to hide the open edge. And I've also left the little arms longer and the little legs longer. This is so that they are stronger. They won't pull out as easily. So you're just gonna reach in and turn the bear to the right side And you can see that the legs got stitched in, the little arms are stitched in, and I will use the stick to push the little ears out nicely. Then all you have to do is close your opening, and if you want, you can top stitch around the entire bear like I did on this one. I hope that you've seen how easy it is to create something in the hoop and that you give it a try soon.